Hello friends, this is Sherry with Sherry's Plants and in today's video I'm going to talk about the things that I changed in my planner lineup from 2021 to 2022. So let's get into it. Okay, so this video was um, actually requested. I did have a follower who said she was um, like binge watching some of my videos and saw my 2021 lineup and had asked me why things had changed to my 2022 lineup. So I thought that was a good idea to kind of just talk about some of the things that I am doing now that I changed from 2021. Um, I actually had to go back and look up what was part of my uh, 2021 lineup to kind of remember what I had even started with um, back in 2021 and what I had changed to. So some of the things, let me talk about like some of the things that um, I changed up. First of all, my life planner. So I just made this change for 2022, but I am using the um, Just My Type hourly layout and that's a change from the uh, who, I, what was it, like color, it was definitely like colorful, was it layers in 2021 that I had started out with, but I, um, at launch season in May, I had the colorful, um, MCC vertical layout, and I've been using the vertical layout for some time, so the reason why I made this change to the hourly, um, neutral, just my type was a couple reasons, okay, so I had actually been gifted the hourly just my type layout uh, some time ago I think when I got the Star Wars box and I just I really like the font in this lay in this layout like I think this font is just super fun and I just I'm gonna just show you some of these pages so I think the font is just super fun and I I kind of just wanted I don't know maybe I'm just feeling like a little bit more neutral a little bit more simplicity in my spread but also I thought it'd be interesting to try this hourly layout as opposed to the vertical layout. And part of that is because um, I wanna be realistic with the time that I have to do things in, during the day. So I felt like when I planned in my vertical planner, I said, okay, I'm working and then when I get home from work, well, I'm gonna work out. And then um, I also have to edit a video. And then I'm also going to um, study because I've got school stuff going on. But then I'm also, I gotta cook dinner and then do my PM routine. And I'm gonna do all that. And um, I'm gonna do all that in three hours. <laughs> like, it wasn't realistic, the things I wanted to do. But I saw the blank space, filled it up with the things I'm going to do. And it just wasn't realistic. So what I thought I would try with this hourly layout is planning my time a little bit better at the end of the day, um, at the end of my work day. So the end of my work day, I come home, I get home 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock, depending on the day. And I go to bed pretty early because of, I work early. And um, I've got like quite a commute, like I've got like an hour long commute to work to, you know, to and from. So I thought like, I should be a little bit more um, aware of how much time I have and how much time it takes me to do things. So kind of what I'm doing with this hourly layout is just planning my time, like how I'm going to spend that time at the end of the day and being realistic about it. Like if I'm gonna study for you know, a two hour block, I'm probably not gonna do many other things or I'm gonna like walk my dog and then I'm gonna study and that's it, I'm not editing, I'm not filming, I'm not, you know, working out, I'm not doing all these other things if that's what I'm gonna plan on doing, right? So that's kind of my intention with the hourly layout and choosing the um, neutral, just my type. I probably, if I was buying a, if I was gonna have purchased a planner to use, I probably would have purchased the colorful, just my type because I know the tabs are colorful. Um, and I believe there's like some color on like these, um, uh, header page or tab pages so that would have been nice like I'm not afraid of the color like I like the color but this is fun and I really do like this font in here too so and I'm really loving this right now and depending on what comes out in May it may change what I normally um gravitate towards we'll see how this hourly layout goes we'll see how things go okay the other thing I do want to say um just really quickly is I know um 
this uh, subscriber had asked, you know, about why things had changed and stuff. I wanted to share it because I did have some changes and I wanted to explain why I had made those changes, but also like sometimes it's just fun just to try new things, just to try new things, right? Like try a new planner just to try a new planner and see if it works out for you. So um, definitely if you feel like trying something different just to do it, like go for it. But I thought I'd just explain like why I had made these changes to my planner lineup. Um, the other thing that I did change was my daily planning. Now in 2021, I was using the uh, passion planner in the undated daily layout. And I love that planner. I love that planner because like there was so much room to like write things out. You have like an hourly layout on there. You had um, like a blank dot grid page. You had boxes for like check boxes and everything. I loved it. And I didn't find that I needed needed a daily um, planner every day because like on the days that I worked, like I worked and then I came home, I did some stuff, but I really didn't have like a whole lot of things to put in there, I guess. I don't know. But so I love that. That worked for me really well at the time. But when Erin Condren came out with the daily agenda in the A5 size, that's when I knew this is what I wanted to try. And I have been loving this. I definitely feel like there are some days where I don't put much in here and that's fine. But on the days that I do need it, like there are some days like obviously I didn't put anything on here, but then there are days like where I definitely feel like I do need it to write down all my to do's, block off some time, stuff like that. I just, I just fell in love with this layout when it came out. Now, um, nothing against the Passion Planner Daily. Um, I think that's a great daily planner as well, but I just fell in love with this layout. And so I've been using this since it came out. Like I've been in the uh, Rings Agenda Planner since then. So yeah, I, this is why, that's why I just made the change. I just tried something different that I just happened to like. I just loved it. So. And there's so much fun things to do to customize in the rings. And I've just been like all into this, like just having so much fun in this ring agenda. So that's kind of why I made that date, that um, the daily change in my planner lineup. The other thing that I changed was my Moxie Life planner that I was using. So in 2021, I, I purchased their yearly planner in a horizontal layout. And my thought was I wanted to try the goal setting system in Moxie Life. And then I would use the horizontal layout to like list out my tasks, right? The honest truth about that was it was too much, too many planners, juggling too many planners. Like I was putting tasks in that, but I could put task in my vertical and I could put task in my daily. And I just felt I wasn't referencing it enough because I was already in my other planners um, throughout the day or throughout the week and I wasn't getting into that planner. So therefore like I just wasn't using that goal setting system and I wasn't following up on my weekly action items that I had in there. So that quickly fell to the wayside uh, within a couple months. And I had decided that I wanted to try the companion notebook set, but when I had decide, made that decision, uh, they weren't available anymore. So I had to wait until launch, and then just this year, I started to get into the companion notebook system. And what I love about this companion notebook system is that it just has, well, okay, so you have a monthly spread, and I have not found a way to use this monthly spread in here, but I put my stickers down in it anyways, but it has like a monthly goal setting section in each companion notebook. And then it has like weekly um, action items and a dot grid page here I'm using for reflections, but then that's it. There's no other weekly spread in here. So what I'm doing is this actually lives, I thought about like putting it in the back here in my agenda. No, it lives right there in my agenda. That's where it is. So every time I open up my agenda, I'm opening up my companion notebook first and seeing where I'm at in my goals and seeing if I'm working, what goals I'm working on, or hey, maybe I need to do something to work on my goals, okay? That's why I made that change. Um, I had too many planners. 2021, it's so fun to try new planners and have this stack and have a fat stack of planners. And I was really excited to get into all of them. It was straight, just too much. Plain and simple, too much for me. So that's why I cut that weekly out and that the weekly planner that they had and then I just went to the companion notebooks. Um, it 
What I, like I said, what I love about the companion notebooks is it works with any planning system you already have. So it's working out perfectly here in my, in my daily. And that, that likes, I open up my daily probably more often than my weekly planner because I'm using that daily every day, right? But I, when I'm opening it, boom, there's my goal planner right there. Okay. Um, the other thing, one th I guess one thing that hasn't changed is my power sheets. I'm still using the power sheets goal planner. I have it living where it's open to my tending list and it sits right here on the corner of my desk on the planner stand, my Aaron Conjun planner stand, and it sits right there and I see it and I see my, t my goals, my things I need to do, and I'm checking in with it way more often than I was before, okay? So that's where she lives and she just sits there and I can see all my goals sitting right there. Let's see, what were some of the other changes? I, um, gratitude. Um, gratitude w wasn't really working for me. I decided to change my daily, instead of a daily gratitude, I'm just journaling. And I'm just doing that in a softbound notebook. I'm actually using one of the Star Wars uh, notebooks, which is, um, it's fun. I love it. I just have that actually by my bedside um, with my lap desk. And every night when I'm going to bed, I pull that out and I just write whatever I'm feeling or thinking. Um, sometimes I'm like, these are the things we need to do. Um, other times I'm just like, today was a shitty day and this is why it was shitty. And this is, this is what I'm going to do about it tomorrow. Like I just journal in it. Gratitude, the gratitude journal for me was sitting in my office. There was prompts on there that I wasn't really using. And then I felt like I had to write like, oh, what I'm grateful for. But actually I just really wanted to write like I had a shit day and this is what happened. I changed that. That got changed. Um, the budget book, again, I wasn't using the budget book. I'm not, I'm not a good budgeter. But what I am using is I have the um, budget inserts in here and let me see if I can um, not show you but show you okay so I have the budget inserts here the first set here I'm already using for January um, it's got my numbers on it that I don't want to share with the world but this is basically what it looks like and I'm and I'm like excited to use this because I feel like in the budget book yes there's so much space and so many rooms to write things down I just don't have the time, the energy, whatever, to budget and write all those things down. Just being honest, I just don't. That's not something I want to focus my time on. That's not something I want to spend my time on. So, but what I do like here is about how I'm using this is um, um, on this budget at a glance page, I'm writing down our incomes and um, my affiliate and my YouTube incomes, I'll write that on here too. And just what bills we have to pay how much those are, check them off when they're paid. Yeah, just keeping track of like credit card payments and stuff like that. And then on the spending summary page, I'm just writing down um, my fun spending, my extra stuff, the stuff that's not a necessity for the house, not our groceries, um, eating out, gas, stuff like that is not what I'm writing. I'm just writing my planner stuff, um, some other fun things I buy for my dogs, um, books, stuff like that is what I'm writing down on the spending summary page. And that's just what I have. That's what I'm using. I've got three months of that in here right now because I have three months of my daily planner in here. If you saw me do my um, 2022 setup, but it's working for me a lot more than that big book was. Now, what I love about that A5 budget book was if you are a budgeter, it's got plenty of room in there. It's got more spending pages. They also have so many um, fun uh, trackers at the end of it, I have a whole review video you could check out if you want. I just wasn't using it. So I cut that from my my pile, my, my stack, right? Um, the other thing that got cut was a wellness journal. As much as I want to focus on my health and my wellness this year, all that, I just felt that was a whole nother book to track stuff in that I didn't spend my time doing and didn't want to spend my time in. I'm taking a little bit of a different approach. I feel like I go in 20, you know, like the new year, we've got all these goals and I just like go all in. I'm doing everything, all the things. I'm tracking my food, tracking my water, tracking my workouts, tracking, you know, like writing down my goals and reading and journaling and uh, you know, all the things. I'm doing everything all at once. And then a couple weeks in, month in, I'm burnt out. I'm not doing it, I'm not keeping up with it. And it, it's just, it's, you know, it's just, so I had to cut it. 
I cut it. I wasn't keeping up with the wellness planner. Every time like I would get started in it and lay it all out and you know, this is what I'm gonna track, I just wouldn't follow through with it. So I cut out the health and wellness tracker because it was a lot. So like right now for my health and my wellness, I'm just making sure I'm drinking enough water and I'm doing my workout a few times a week. Even if it's just for 10 minutes, that's what I tell myself, just 10 minutes and that's all, that's what we need for now. Okay, we gotta start somewhere. But I am using the self-care journal from Erin Condren. And um, because I feel like I've been, I've had a lot going on and I've been not taking care of myself like I should. So I'm focusing on using this self-care journal for the next three months. And that's kind of just what I'm gonna focus on using. Once I get through with this, maybe I'll look into if I wanna try one of the health, um, the wellness planners again and trying that and like substituting that in. But for now, this is just what I'm gonna use and focus on this. I think that's it. I think those were most of the changes. Um, why I had made those changes from 2021 planner stack to this year's planner stack. Let me know if you guys have been in that same situation. Did you have too many planners that you had to cut back or was there something that you needed to add to your stack? Just let me know, like let me know how you feel about that. Um, I definitely still feel like I probably have a lot of planners that I use. Now don't get me wrong, I definitely still feel like I have like a bigger stack, but it's definitely, I've, I've definitely simplified some things. Some things have been cut from 2021 um, and I feel good about it right now. But you know, just, I wanna say like, whatever you choose for your planners, whatever planners you use, whether you wanna have like all the planners at the beginning of the year and then halfway through the year, you're like, this isn't working, I need to cut it, I need to change everything, that's fine. Do you, have fun. I'm all for like having fun in planners and trying different things out. If you can afford to buy a new planner every month to try it, cool, go for it do you? It's fun. I think it's fun. I think it's fun to try new planners and I don't think we have to stick with one planner throughout the whole year. If you want to try something, do it. Have fun with it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I am posting new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.